Uh, I think that the uh, multiverse in the Everett Wheeler Graham uh, version, this idea that there is uh, basically at every decision of uh, the quantum um, uh, collapse, uh, the collapse of the wave function, the universe splits into copies of itself, is a slightly different conception. It's basically a mathematical paradigm that describes that the universe is branching in ways that uh, parts of the description of the universe no longer causally influence the other parts of the description of the universe. Imagine yet you are uh, describing the world as uh, something like a cellular automaton. And uh, in the cellular automaton, you have particles interaction, uh, interactions, which might be like gliders in the game of life, like these regular patterns that might influence each other and change state and move through uh, the topology of a space that you define in a certain way. And uh, it, it, this thing is defined in such a way that uh, the computation of the entire thing is very inefficient because it uh, at every step, the thing splits up into many, many sub uh, topologies in which uh, you have copies of these gliders uh, or variants of these gliders moving about in different ways, but only a subset of the gliders is going to influence the others. So from the perspective of the future of, this, uh, of any kind of system, the, the only things that are real to you are those that can causally influence you. And uh, if something um, moves away from you in a way that it can no longer causally influence you, and because it's no longer occupying the same space in a way, uh, but we basically have a space with a dimensionality that increases and increases and increases. And um, this might look like it's extremely wasteful, but that's only from the perspective um, of somebody who is outside of the system and cares about one of the timelines of the system. And uh, we only exist within one of those trajectories inside. And uh, for us, uh, we would only experience uh, a smaller and smaller fraction of the resulting computation at every moment and uh, or, or in the future as a in, in potentia. And this is in some sense what this multiverse idea describes. It's a particular mathematical formalism. It's not exactly the same as uh, the one, uh, as the thing that I just described because that is independent of the idea of such a multiverse. So uh, what, what I described is a way to look at the universe as something like an evolving fractal. So you have a generator function that produces uh, all the possible generator function by just enumerating them and just executing them in parallel. And as a result, you get uh, time, space and matter and structure. Matter is basically the structure that uh, is evolving uh, in the space and uh, is propelled along it. And space is a set of locations that you can discern that can contain information that is discernible and the ways that the information can travel between these locations. And, right. uh, yeah. So you're saying that we can produce some subsets that are causally closed and then there are others that don't influence us at all. And to us, whoever lives within this causally closed place. So no, what I mean they is don't... Uh, causally looping back to us. So basically you send a signal into the universe. This uni uh, signal is going to influence certain things. And as a result, you, you get feedback from this, right? You push a certain thing and you see the results of what you pushed because uh, photons are bounced off that thing that you are pushing. Yep. And uh, there is a limit to that, that is uh, the visible universe, right? The, uh, if something goes uh, beyond the region from which light can reach us, it's, uh, it no longer has a causal influence to us. And the multiverse theory is that uh, the, there is not just this boundary uh, in a very, very large distance, but there is a boundary next to us where we do things that uh, lead to information uh, f flowing away from us and not coming back to us. Still, there is a conservation of information. This conservation of information is that we can uh, always basically, in some sense, figure out what we did because uh, all the influences that matter get back to us. And of course, uh, the, there is a little bit of a tautology in there. If we are producing things in the universe with our actions that in some sense would generate new information that goes away from us and doesn't come back, we would never know about it. And in some sense, the multiverse is uh, an inevitable description uh, of such a universe uh, that uh, where uh, the collapse of the wave function can happen in multiple ways. Where are the other ways happening? Where are they going? Why is it that we only experience this particular collapse of the wave function? And the multiverse theory is a possible answer to that. And there are other possible answers to that. Um, one could be that, uh, for instance, the 
collapse of the wave function is deterministic uh, in in this in a certain sense, and that is uh, it means that uh, it's influenced by things uh, that are non-local, and that we cannot pinpoint. Uh, 